Hello everyone, it's Matt here and welcome to a special video. Um, the new Lego store in the Bullring in Birmingham officially opened today, uh, which is November the 21st, uh, 2019. Um, and it's one that if you've been following my Instagram, I've been pretty much visiting on and off for the past couple of weeks, sort of going, it's here and there's changes, uh, but it's still not open. Um, and today was the official soft opening um so it's now officially open from now onwards um now as a soft opening there is a special uh, little something um happening later for the grand opening and that's between the 12th and 15th of december um but now it's a soft opening so it's officially open um they're running through some kinks and problems for the grand opening so once everything's been bedded in a little bit you know, they'll have a grand opening. Uh, there's some promos on, so if you spend more than £100, you get this. First 500 customers of the day get a special tile, you know, that sort of thing. Um, the um, store itself, um, I'll, so I'll go into a little bit of details, because I've actually vis visited it today after work, um, which is quite good, because I was working in the city centre today. Um, it's quite a good size for those people uh, a foals or not a foals remember the previous birmingham store which was located all the way down on the ground floor a couple of doors up from game um and it's a lot better um it might not have any be be much better in terms of height but it feels a lot more open and airy because it's not as enclosed um it follows the pretty standard uh, lego floor plan of sets and display cases all along the side um, and then there's little pockets of stuff to do um, in the middle of the store you know the store itself is a bit of an odd shape um, and i'll go into that now basically most lego stores the ones i visited at least with the exception of the odd one if it's in a specialist building or something like that such as Leicester square um, is effectively just a straight rectangle so you've got a rectangle, you walk in one end, there's the pick it or what at the far end, and in front of it is the counters, there's stuff on the sides and there's stuff in the middle, uh, like little like little man islands, if you like, of display cases or display centres or little pockets of stock, uh, such as special sets, maybe like, you know, the special collector's ones for Star Wars or something like that. The Lego one in the in Birmingham Ball Ring kind of does that but about as i said about two thirds of the way down the store it actually kinks to the left slightly which i think is just the way the ball ring has been built um so they're going to go straight and then it sort of curves around slightly it's not a big one um it is noticeable but it is there um so it is something a little bit weird the wall. um the bigger it wall is quite wide and tall obviously because it's the width of the um shop pretty much the height is just above my height i mean i'm six foot um so the top line you can actually get, come in and grab elements on is just above me um it's a repeat of what's else on the wall so for example there's might be one but there's was one by six light bluish gray bricks in the top in one of the ones in the top right corner they're repeated a lot lower down on a different column or on a different row depending on which you go by rows or columns um there's not much in the way of duplication between bins as well which is a good thing um so it's not just you've got one bin of say two by four bricks in purple here and then about four along there's another one um there doesn't seem to be any of that on the, on the element wall it does seem to be a lot of variation um when I visited it today, there were two lots of masonry bricks, light bluish grey and dark red. Now the LDC store, um, because I've visited that, used to visit that fairly frequently, they did have light bluish grey bricks at one point. And then my, uh, somebody I know, who's also in Brick Central Lug, um, previously worked there and has gone to other things, sort of said that they kind of kept the variety in the Discovery Centre fairly bland because you know, um, there were several problems from theft and other stuff, so it's actually good that I've now got a pick wall 
which is less than an hour away um, if you time things right which you know has got some great elements to pick from um, and you know I've got a cup right here you know uh, to do that um, so getting on to purchases um, you know so it's being about pick of it cups um, this is a cup it's filled with pretty much just of I think it's five different element types and um, there's not a great deal in here and um, there's some leaf elements some dark bluish grey of the modern 1x4x6 doorways um, there's dark red mason red bricks as you can probably tell um, open this carefully enough um, there's some leaf elements and there's some 1x4x3 window panes so there you go there's some leaf elements um, and I think there might be something else in here but on the whole it's just effectively just dark red mason red bricks um, and the other thing um, I bought today was this and this is a um, build a fig pack now this is a bit different to normal ones it's currently got this nice wintry sort of theme on um, you can also get special packs of these in the store which have Christmas uh, stuff on this one actually has um, a variety of elements in it um, now I will be able to um, show off a second photo but briefly if I can crack this open it's got some um, uh, and this is probably not going to work very well at all um, so you actually have for example uh, a new cat face and cat hair I think they've probably pre previously appeared before but you've got the uh, torso with the champs logo and their legs um, the legs themselves are dual molded um, so you have the special white at the top and yellow um, bottoms so to represent boxes for example um, it's fairly common um, now this is a element that will be a lot clearer in the photo Whoop. but you have a scotty dog or a west westie or a terrier uh, West Highland Terrier um, and it's in black. Uh, these previously appeared in white I believe uh, but black's a new colour. Black uh, with the grey nose is actually a new colour scheme. Uh, there's actually three different lots of print on this um, so you have um, well three different colours I should say. You have the black base body which is actually mould. You have grey print and then you have white dots on the eyes. So there's actually two different lots of print on this. Um, and you've also got some faces and hair elements which I've personally not seen in, in build fig stations or it might just be that they're reasonably new. Um, there is some yet more castle elements appearing in the brick, uh, brick well, as I keep saying pick a brick, it's build fig stands. Um, the most recent addition is actually one of the helmets um, which I don't haven't really seen across any others. So it might be that this is their way of doing a castle theme is just add little bits into the build big stand. Um, but really, other than that, that's really it for the Birmingham store. Um, there'll be some photos I took today interspersed amongst everything and a few other bits and pieces. Um, but that's it, really. Um, and, you know, if you're in the area, we've got a Lego store again. Hooray. Um, you know, it's taken them long enough. Um, in my opinion, but you know, we've finally got one, uh, it's open, there's some great stuff to be had if you can get in early enough. Um, and you know, I'm going to be visiting again Saturday, um, and then I'm off to Warley, so you know, all exciting things happening, um, and that's it, and see you later. <laughs>